Lumpy lady, you got eyes the color of grave. You are sexy, lumpy. Oh, oh, hi there. Uh, sorry, you caught me serenading this painting. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing. This is Nick Picks Apart a Painting number two. We'll be looking at the painting Portrait of Elizabeth Wimparis. I assume that's how it's pronounced. From 1939, painted by eccentric British artist Stanley Spencer. I still don't have a theme. That's my theme. I love this painting because it's hideous. And I don't even mean that as an insult. I genuinely love strange people. And Spencer's portrait of Elizabeth Wimparis is so very strange. It's just a bizarre looking painting. Uh, and I think it's strange more because of who Stanley Spencer is uh, than who uh, Elizabeth Wimparis is because no one really knows who she is. Uh, she, she worked as a nurse during the war. That's all we really know. She was related to somebody. That's it. When you look at her, uh, she kind of looks like a corpse. Uh, when you look at her face up close, her right eye is bulging and it looks like it could pop out at any moment. Her weird little mouth just sort of looks pulled in tight and nervous. And she seems to be thinking, I am going to kill you. Because in this portrait, Elizabeth Wimparis is clearly a serial killer. If you look at the structure of this painting, everything about it is lopsided and out of balance, which just is great. I, I love that. Uh, the sleeves of her shirt are different lengths. Her breasts are all weird. Like one is pointing up and one is pointing down. The back of her chair, there are two balls, which makes sense on either side of her shoulder. Th those would be the balls on the back of the chair. But if you look in the background, there's a third ball. Why is it there? And its presence makes everything look off kilter as well. It's, it's very confusing as to why it's there. If you look at her face, it's at a weird profile angle, which makes her look very strange. And then she's stuck in the corner of the room like she's trapped. And when you look at all of these off-balance elements together, it adds up to a really strange tension. And that tension makes her expression seem all the more creepy and threatening because she seems genuinely unbalanced. Plus her hair looks amazing. Uh, it's like this helmet of brown curls. And right at the front is this one curl that kind of looks like a hook about to like plunge into her face. The only thing in this painting that's in balance are her shoulders. Uh, her shoulders are freakishly attractive compared to the rest of her. And they're really, really straight, creating this perfect triangle, which I don't know... <laughs> There's something about that perfect triangle in the middle of all this out-of-balance nonsense that, that makes this painting really cool to look at. Uh, this portrait hangs in the Na Canadian National Gallery in Ottawa. And on the card next to the portrait, it tells of how uh, Stanley Spencer was given this commission probably out of pity because he was always uh, chronically short of money. And the card also reads, We know from a letter Elizabeth wrote to her Aunt Alice that Stanley Spencer approached her about doing a second painting but nothing seems to have come of the offer. Really? <laughs> Is, are you surprised when you, when you look at this painting and you see what he's done to Elizabeth Wimparis? Why, why wouldn't she jump on the opportunity to get a second portrait? Clearly, uh, his, his choice of making her look like a serial killer, lopsided freak show, probably, probably, you know, she didn't want that. She probably wanted something that made her look good, that, you know, would commemorate her to, to, to beauty and to... And instead, she got this. Spencer is actually quite an interesting guy. If you look him up, he, he had quite, a, quite an interesting life. Uh, he's, he's an oddball for sure. I, if you want to see more of my craziness, you can go to my blog at stopbeingsane.com. And there you'll see comic strips, writing, uh, opinion pieces, and basically uh, a documented state of affairs slowly showing me going from a sane person to a completely insane person. Uh, so thanks very much for watching, and next time I'll pick on somebody else's art. Thanks. Bye.